Hey Aquarius, this is your bonus love reading for the end of March into mid-April. Thank you guys so much for your likes and comments. So you guys, you had a tough March. Some of you had an offer coming in that you weren't accepting out of fear and just being done with the situation. Others of you had a lot of anxieties, hurt feelings, weren't ready to get into a relationship. The Five of Pentacles was there, but you also have the world. And the world is the end of a cycle and a new beginning. So we'll see what's going on with Aquarius end of March into mid-April. Aquarius. You had four that came out, so we're going to take all four. So, for those of you who did have somebody coming back from the past that was trying to make an offer, you have the Six of Cups again, Six of Raphael. Embrace your inner child, new friends, or rekindled relationships, children, or childhood. So, it could be somebody you've known in the past, maybe never had a relationship with others. There is somebody trying to come back. And you have changed your life, which is the tower card. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. And you did have that eight of swords as the energy coming through for March. And that's that stuck energy, energy of restriction. So this is about breaking free of that energy, procrastinations, whatever it was for you. Nine of Gabriel, nine of wands. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibilities. Environmental activism, meaning focusing on some kind of a project. But be determined. Change your life. There may be revelations. Things may be coming to the surface. Seven of Ariel, which is seven of pentacles. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. And we do have Mercury that went retrograde today on the 22nd. So some of you, some of you who have invested, have patience. This is a time of review. Review your feelings, how you feel for those singles out there. Review what it is that you want for your next step. You don't have to make a decision right away. So focus on yourself. Focus what's right for you and what makes you happy. you have really been stuck in that sad energy the energy of fear fear of moving forward so for some of you there's going to be a change others this is a time of reviewing reviewing your life and what's right for you and others somebody from the past may be coming back leap of faith So again, this is like the change your life tower card. This is about breaking free from restriction, like that web there that you get stuck to. You get stuck in depressions and sad times and focusing on the negative. So it's time to break free of that. See, this is a chance to create something wonderful. You are in transition period where you need to draw on your faith, intuition, and knowledge and take the leap. You will not fail. You have a safety net of support in place. 
You will overcome your fear and find a beautiful outcome is on the horizon. This leap of faith is the best course of action at this time. If you do make a mistake, you have the ability to try again and learn from what did not work the first time. All signs indicate that if you just trust, you will succeed. Jump head first into the void of the unknown. Even if you eventually fall for a while, you will soar. So have faith, guys. You've been working hard here. And you're waiting to manifest what you want. Some of you could be somebody from the past. Others maybe from your childhood that you could just bump into anywhere. But you have the tower here. So there may be some revelation coming in. Some new change. But this is telling you to take that leap of faith and jump into action for those who are ready to do that. What does Aquarius need to hear? There you are, three of wands, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for things to change, waiting for positivity, waiting for abundance, waiting for happiness. You guys want a solid structure here. You want to manifest with this Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant. You want to, uh, to manifest your abundance. And for some of you, that's just by yourself, the single ones. Some of you would just wanting to be single, worrying about your Pentacles, worrying about your own stability, and that's absolutely the best thing to do. Some of you, that Four of Cups came up again, just like in the March reading. Four of Pentacles. So the fours are about stability, but some of you are not wanting to let go. Some of you, again, don't want to accept an offer, and that's absolutely fine. For some of you, it's better to be single right now and wait for somebody good. Wait for your ships to come in. Wait for the right person. You guys were cutting through some stuff in that March reading that was not serving you, people who weren't serving you. Some people from the past that were trying to come back. You weren't accepting that offer. And the Four of Pentacles, holding on to your Pentacles, holding on to your security and your stability. And that can be emotional stability. Having fear, cutting through the bullshit. There's the Queen of Swords, male or female. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So I'm going to start clarifying some of these cards. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here for Aquarius? Oh, 
All right. Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to be going in your favor. And for some of you, that could mean ending a relationship or continuing to be single and work on yourself. But the wheel is turning. It's turning in your favor. But it's all about building a solid foundation for yourself. Some of you need to cut people out. Some of you need to continue focusing on yourselves. King of Cups. Some could be involved with a water sign. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? came out so the six of cups shit guys repeating cards again the six of cups which is a six of Raphael, the hierophant and now the lovers so it could definitely be somebody from the past there could be children involved here for some of you but there could be somebody from the past or somebody that you recently broke up with that is trying to come back into your life Somebody that maybe you were married to with the Hierophant, but somebody that you had some kind of serious relationship with, marriage, whatever it was, and the lovers. So definitely somebody that you have a connection with. But focus on creating stability for you guys. Especially with the Four of Pentacles here. That's all about stability. In the Hierophant... Structure, tradition. What's going on with the Queen of Swords for Aquarius? Some of you may be making a decision to go with somebody from your past. Queen of Swords makes a de decision. As much as she cuts people out and she's logical, he or she... That Queen of Swords is also all about making decisions. Yep, Nine of Pentacles. So some of you could be making a decision to be single. The Nine of Pentacles is like the single card, and that's another repeating card. So it's all about focusing on yourself. If somebody is not serving you and loving you the way you deserve to be loved, you're going to focus just on your Pentacles right now. And that could be the best thing for you. Build yourself up. Build a solid foundation for yourself like the Hierophant. What else does Aquarius need to hear? And for those that are taking a leap of faith and getting into a relationship, it's going to be something that's solid. does Aquarius need to hear? Oh yeah, absolutely. New beginnings here, guys. The star, the sun, the fool, king of wands, the star, card of Aquarius. Getting your hopes and your dreams, things working out the way that they should be, things working out for your best interests. The sun, complete happiness, illumination. For some of you, there could definitely be children coming into the picture here. You have the six of cups twice and now you have the sun and the fool. The fool can be a birth, a rebirth, the sun, new beginnings, definitely could be children. The fool is renewal. That's taking a leap of faith, just like this card. So for some of you, there's a strong message here to take a leap of faith into something new, a new relationship, maybe somebody from the past, maybe somebody from your childhood. 
Leo, Sagittarius, Aries with the King of Wands. So it could be a fire sign. We did have the King of Cups come up, so that could also be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but something passionate. In the King of Wands, they take control. They're passionate, they're sensual. Why is the Fool here? And now you have the Queen of Wands. So definitely a passionate, solid new beginning for some of you. The Queen of Wands, as I said, similar to the King of Wands, passionate, takes control, not afraid to show those passions, sensual, sexuality. Clarify the sun. So some of you just need to take that leap of faith and let go of that old Eight of Swords restricted energy because you have something really good coming in here. Clarify the sun. Definitely could be a fire sign. <laughs> Look at that Aquarius. Justice. Karma. Balancing the wrongs. Getting what you deserve. Some of you could definitely be a divorce. A ruling in a divorce having to do with marriage others of you you're getting you know after this seven of Ariel you've worked your asses off to be happy and you're getting what you deserve now with justice the card of Libra so some of you maybe you are involved with an air sign with the Queen of Swords there that came up but you guys have a solid new beginning here Things are working out in your favor. So the tower moment, you know, the tower is here, but the tower doesn't have to be bad. The tower can be an amazing new beginning. It's just major changes coming in. And she already came out. So very soon, Aquarius. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So focus on what it is that you do want. So you can manifest that abundance. You can manifest that star, the sun, the fool, the passion with the king of wands and the queen of wands. And for some of you, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So just pay attention to things if they don't seem right. Pay attention to... Some of you that have to make a decision here to maybe end a relationship or whatnot. I'm going to read that from the book because there's more that goes along with pay attention to the red flags. The romance angel sent you this card to help you notice the unhealthy or disconcerting parts of your relationship. If you are swept up in a new romance, this card serves as a cautionary warning. Pay attention to your feelings and impressions with regard to your new suitor. Don't allow emotion to blind your characteristics or habits that won't work for you in a relationship. A red flag is a sign that something is off. It can include an indication of dishonesty, disrespect, flirtatiousness with others, substance abuse, or lack of integrity. While your new love interest may treat you wonderfully well in the beginning of your relationship, it's vital that you watch how he or she treats others. Someone's basic character is revealed by the way in which he or she talks and acts with the restaurant staff, valet parking attendants, and other miscellaneous individuals. If you're in an existing relationship, these red flags may single a need for an honest mutual discussion or couples counseling. This card doesn't necessarily guide you to leave a relationship. Red flags can be markers along the path of healing. The romance angels will guide you to take steps that are healthy for everyone involved. So for some of you, it could just be as simple as healing, but change your life. Things may need to fall apart before they can come back together again. And that doesn't always mean leaving a relationship. For some of you, that could just mean working on your relationship, healing. You have the opportunity for the star and the sun and the fool. There could be situations with kids involved. Maybe kids are adding extra stress into the relationship, but you have an opportunity to heal that, but you have to take that step. So you guys have an awesome reading here in I mean, justice, these are all major arcanas here. The fool, the sun, the star, justice, the lovers, the hierophant twice. And with a six of Raphael, six of cups, you could be maybe needing to heal 
things from the past that have happened that you guys just left on the back burner. So I hope you guys have an amazing March into April and let me know how it works out for you. Take care.